Welcome here to the Green Gully Reserve for this clash between the Green Gully Cavaliers and the Altona Magic. And so Markowski now moves to the near post looking for the flick on. That's where the throw goes from Rajat. Did well to get the flick on, Markowski. Then it'll be Pino to launch this one into the box. Headed clear by Dean Fack, only to the edge of the box. Good shot, and McKellar with the follow-up. He was offside, and it didn't matter anyways. He hit the post, but the first shot from Bozanowski stung the fingertips of Pazzi Schwelger. So Schwelger with a free kick. <coughs> and Vasala a little slow there. And ball over the top now for Sash Bekinovsky. And Schwelger came off his line. Bekinovsky's put the ball wide. Green Gully do need to lift the pressure all around the park, not just one or two players. And free kick's taken quickly. The Gully defence weren't awake to it. And the shot comes in. Schwelger with the one-handed palm away. Wasn't that convincing. Bozanowski got a foot to the ball. Throw-in's taken quickly. And now it's with Lipsansky. Just outside the box. Well, first shot on target for Green Gully. Taken quickly. Pino with the cross. It's dropped to Bozanowski. And Bozanowski. And, well, how old Tana Magic failed to convert that chance is a little bit beyond belief. And headed clear by Andy Vargas. Only as far as Sturgeopoulos. He gave it away. Vargas gives it away back to Sturgeopoulos. Now the ball's with Kole Delev. Plays it out wide for Bechanovsky. Good tackle from Dragi Nestevsky. And good use of the body as well. Keeps the ball for Gully. And referee signals the end. Have quite a dull nil-nil draw here between Green Gully and Altona Magic. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage all the same. And we look forward to joining you next week over here on the Green Gully Soccer Show.